Hello guys and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I will show you the easiest recipe for a classic Greek dessert. No mixer chocolate salami. Loaded with tea biscuits and walnuts for crunchiness, this chocolatey treat will satisfy all tastes. All you need is 10 minutes of hands-on time. Time for chocolate salami. We call it in Greece mosaico. We love it, it's uh, very classic. I know that um, it's not only Greek classic, it's uh, all over the world classic, but I will show you the way we are making it in Greece. So I have my tea biscuits here and I will break them with my hands. Now, if you have any leftover biscuits with fillings, uh, with uh, chocolate, with strawberry, with uh, anything, you can use it for this recipe because it's an easy recipe and actually it's a good recipe to make useful all the leftovers of crackers and biscuits that we have at home. And I will carry on with my nuts. Here I have some walnuts. You can use any nuts you like. It's classic in Greece to use walnuts. So I will break them with my hands and again going into the bowl. Now, the next ingredient is brandy, okay? Or cognac, you can use anything you like. Now we need some alcohol in and we put the alcohol now because we want the biscuits to absorb all the alcohol and have this lovely aftertaste. And again, I will mix everything together. And now it's time for another bowl, okay? And here I have some cocoa powder, okay? I have some butter and the butter is at room temperature. Why my friend like is? Exactly, because if it's frozen, then it's hard to mix everything together. Now, if it's very cold, there is a secret to make it soft, easy, microwave. So you can put it into the microwave for about 30 seconds and the butter will have this consistency that we need. Now, the microwave starts melting the butter, but not melting completely the butter, because we don't want to be completely melt. Now, as you can see, it's more soft now and easier to combine with cocoa powder. As you can see, we're creating a nice paste with cocoa powder and butter. What is missing from this paste, like this? The sugar, yes. Now it's very bitter, if you try it, the consistency is very good, but it's very bitter. You cannot use it to make chocolate salami. That's why I will add what my friend like is, the secret ingredient, which is... Bravo. Sweetened condensed milk. I think it's one lovely ingredient because in many recipes, when you want to have this milky flavor and you want also some sweetness, sweetened condensed milk, is the best idea because you just add a can of it and the dessert is ready. Now, you can try it because now it's not bitter anymore. It's nice and sweet. Perfecto. Now, I will transfer the whole mixer into the other bowl. And actually, this is the stabilizer of my dessert. Lovely. Gloves on, mixy mix into the fridge the dessert is ready. So, here I have one 10 by 30 cake pan and I will use to prepare my chocolate salami. And the next thing I have to do is to mixy mixy everything to make it nice. Now I'm transferring the mixer into my loaf tin. This is the best thing with this recipe. You don't have to bake and in a few hours it will be ready. Now, I will cover it with plastic wrap. At the top, I will press a little bit because I want to stick everything together. And this going straight into my fridge. For how long like this? At least two hours, but you don't have to wait because Akis is always one step ahead and my dessert is ready. Look at this. Now, if you want to have a very, very easy dessert for the family, this is the dessert you want. Now, I will take my knife and I will cut it. Oh my God. It is perfect, my friend. I think we spent just five, six, seven minutes 
to prepare it and we need just a few seconds to enjoy it. A few icing sugar to the top and bon appetit. Like this, this is the dessert you will make today. If you like the recipe, please share it with your friends and make comments underneath the video. Filakia, bye bye, yasos.